Hi everybody, uh, welcome. We are the University of Melbourne iGym team from Australia and today we'll be talking about youth engagement with synthetic biology and STEM in general. So education is a key part of youth engagement. It's a seed of inspiration for many children at a young age because then when they grow up, they'll recognize that synthetic biology is a career path, much like how do you aspire to be a doctor or a lawyer. In any case, education is always the first step in discovering their dreams and passions on their own personal journey in which education will open the door for them. Long-term effect. Ultimately, this means impacting the incoming generations of students and educating them about the vast opportunities to aspire to in, in synthetic biology and the key components on how to end up in the field, empowering them with the knowledge and motivation to do so. We want to engage the general public in synthetic biology and STEM in general, because naturally this will help bridge the gap between academia and the general population. With the idea of having STEM to be more heavily ingrained in the roots of society and help mitigate issues in the long run related to misinformation about STEM knowledge. So, you know, things like carrots make your eyesight better and help engage in scientific thinking from a young age. Engagement also helps normalize STEM and ideally move towards the goal where STEM related careers such as synthetic biology are prevalent in society without an elitist stigma. Now, in terms of empowerment, it is not only imperative for national development of an entire country in the global pursuit for STEM development to be a society, but also personal development of an individual to pursue beneficial careers in STEM careers that have a high level of job satisfaction and reward factor that will help establish worth in a young individual and both their contribution to society and their own personal satisfaction in life. Uh, hopefully next we'll have Emily talking about connecting with young people. Yeah, have you clicked the slide? I did. Hold on. Did it work? Yeah. Okay, so one way to connect with young people is to create like an engaging environment which encourages discussion and has less emphasis on a teacher-student dynamic. And additionally, iGEM teams are very suitable for this as we have team numbers that range around 10, which means that workshops that we can hold can be very interactive and the student to iGEM ratio is really good, meaning that all the kids will always have time to ask any questions they want throughout activities that we set out. Furthermore, it may be beneficial to think outside of the traditional one-way teaching. For example, iGEM team members can potentially mentor high school students to interact with younger kids. And in this way, the high school students benefit as they're supported in pursuing leadership opportunities. And this can involve introducing simple synthetic biology ideas and concepts to younger students. For targeted engagement, went back. <laughs> Sorry. For targeted engagement, we can first identify children in our community who may lack the opportunities and or environment to be exposed to science. And then we should make sure to take into consideration engagement and accessibility when deciding on ways to interact with the target audience. Free events are a possible approach. However, in our current climate, distribution of simple infographics or comments to like neighborhood centers, community centers, or schools may be more appropriate. Uh, Melbourne Uni's iGEM team has engaged with youth through a collaboration with a community center close to the university. We ran two workshops during the school holidays and children had free access to this two day event. We chose this collaboration as the children in this neighborhood lacked opportunities to engage and to be exposed in science. We explored many basic concepts and also tried to make our sessions more relevant. Two of our multiple uh, activities we ran were simulation of an oil spill and building a model of DNA. Both of these gave the children a lot of opportunity to problem solve and ask questions. We also aimed to have host low waste events so the materials we used <coughs> sorry <coughs> for activities were recycled or donated through this 
we also engage the children in conversation about sustainability, why it's important, and brainstorm sustainability means of creating energy. So we're going to give an example of how we would teach the kids in a workshop. So for this example, we're doing simplified um, construct making. So we'll teach the concept of construct making, but without the complicated science jargon. Next slide. So in this scenario, uh, in this activity, what we would do is the students can actively participate in construct making, but in a simplified concept teaching way. So we would have multiple cards that have different descriptions, such as start, stop, promoter, and um, characteristics. And then we'll give it a worksheet of scenarios. And for example, the scenario here is Timmy's mom wants a flower that has petals which glow. Help Timmy figure out how to help his mom grow this special flower. And then the kids can piece together the cards to make a construct that makes a flower glow. Next slide. So is there any team here that has, in, has had particular success in engaging with youth and would like to share? If not, that is the end of our presentation. And thank you for listening.